Good day all, welcome back to Cruising Classics YouTube channel. Today we have for you a 1986 Chevy K10 Silverado. It is a big beautiful red truck. You can see here in the front the iconic rectangular shaped grill with the stacked headlights and the bow tie in the center. A nice black chin spoiler up front with one, two tow hooks to help get your friends out of trouble. We believe it's original paint all over this truck. Uh, it's driver quality now, still presents very well. You can see the truck has a little bit of dress up down the sides. We've got some wheel lip molding, body side molding, dual side mirrors, uh, bed rails. You'll see those in a minute as we get down there. Uh, all sitting on top of some factory rallies with center caps and beauty rings wrapped in Goodyear Wrangler tires. Nice Silverado badging. Black pinstripe all the way down the side. Looks really slick. Uh, it does have dual gas tanks, so both sides have a, uh, a tank fill at the same place. And as I mentioned, the wood grain on the bed rail. You can see here in the bed that it has a penda liner, which is a drop-in bed liner to be in quite good shape. Truck has a nice stance to it. It's up nice and proud and high. It is a four-wheel drive truck and the four-wheel drive works just as it should. We took it out and tried it the day we got it in. See it's got a nice rear end, wrap around lights. Nice trim on the back, big old Chevrolet emblem down here. See there is a tow hitch receiver and some nice chrome exhaust tips. There is a little bit of a ding on the rear bumper right there. You can see it. Very minor though. Small to merit for such a beautiful truck. Long straight sides down this truck and they look good. It's been treated really well. For a vehicle that's well into its 30s, looks better than I did when I was in my 30s. You can see the third light up at the back of the cab. Now, up front, Oh, I forgot. We've got an internal pull on this one. We'll have to give just one second here. I'm used to dealing with slightly older vehicles. We're up into the 80s now. We've got internal pulls for the hoods. All right, there we are. This truck features a nice, clean engine bay. Uh, tidy, well organized. It has a GM Goodwrench. Crate 350, and as you can see there, it has some nice newer headers that lead down to a newer exhaust system that sounds simply spectacular. I'll fire it up in a little bit and let you hear that. You also see it has an Edelbrock four-barrel carburetor topped off with an Edelbrock air cleaner. Everything looks really good through here. Nice, clean, well done. As we cruise around to the other side of the engine, we'll see a couple important things. One, it's a power brake truck. Two, it's air conditioned, and that air conditioning blows icy cold. Uh, beneath the AC down there is our power steering pump. So it's fully outfitted, power steering, power brakes, and AC, along with a great sound and exhaust and a GM crate motor. Hard to go wrong here. Nice attention to detail in the engine bay. Everything looks just great. Let's hop inside, take a look at the uh, interior of the cab and then fire this baby up. I want you to hear it. The interior, done in maroon, looks all factory stock. Uh, those look like original door cards to me, uh, complete with a pull handle, crank windows, and map pockets. Uh, both sides are the same. You can see over there it's the same door. 
The seat has been recovered, quite obviously. That can't be from 1986. It's way too clean. Free of any rips or tears or wear or stains. And quite comfortable to sit in. You can see the uh, dome courtesy light came on right away when we opened the door. Nice tight headliner. Dual visors. Passenger side has a vanity mirror on it. Let's hop up inside. On the front seat beside of me, we have an original sales brochure from 1986. It shows all the trucks they offered that year, and you'll see it's not hiding anything on the seat. Passenger seat looks great. The dash, nice red and crack free the whole way down, in great shape. A little bit of trim with a Silverado logo. Glove box contains nothing. Uh, it's just waiting for you to put things into. There is an ashtray, and that's the lever or the button that goes from gas tank to gas tank, so you can flip back and forth in between them. Carpet is in really good shape, kept so by these GM logo floor mats. And of course, you can see here in the center the four wheel drive shifter, uh, which works just as it should. Four wheel drive works great on here. Uh, all your friends are going to want you to come and bail them out when they get stuck. Looking over from the driver's vantage point, we've got a nice OEM correct steering wheel with the working horn. Dash is in good shape. Gauges all work with the exception of the battery cage. Don't know why, but it doesn't show anything. It just registers nothing. Uh, HVAC controls are over here. Uh, we've got hot air. We've got cold air. I'm sorry, hot, heat, cold air. Uh, blower works just great. I'll turn that on for you a moment and let you hear it once we get the car running. And down beneath, a uh, GM Delco factory AM FM cassette push button stereo for your cruising tunes pleasure. Over here, you'll notice that the driver's got intermittent wipers and cruise control, as well as tilt wheel. So, all that taken into consideration, let's fire this baby up. No feet. Itself, but the radio does just fine. Let's hop out and give a listen to this awesome sounding engine. What a great sounding, great running truck. Oh yeah, this is where it really sounds nice back here. Folks, if you've got interest in this truck, give us a call and don't wait to do it. I don't think we're going to have it very long. Here in Columbus, Ohio at Cruising Classics, our number is 614-276-7355. We're here to answer any questions you might have about this 86 K10 Silverado. We can help you get shipping quotes. We can help you find financing for it. Or we're just happy to talk cars if you want to give us a call. Again, we're at Cruising Classics in Columbus, Ohio, 614-276-7355. We're glad you joined us today, and we'll be back tomorrow with something else cool for you. Thanks again. Have a good one.